Welcome to the Axolotl SMP, or at least what is left of it. Four months ago, me and my friends started a Minecraft server to play together. I was actually planning on making a video about the server, about how fun it was and some random shenanigans, but I never thought the video would be about its death. If you know the YouTuber FitMC and his various 2B2T documentaries, you might have come across this video. It's about a group of 2B2T hackers who destroy random third-party servers. So what this exploit called Copenheimer does is that it can track every single open IP on the internet where it can find a Minecraft server running. When it finds the server, it's able to track information like what the server is running on, like Fabric or Vanilla or Forge, if it has mods, plugins, who's online, if, whether whitelist is enabled, and much more. And recently, in another FitMC video, he explains how they upgraded this exact exploit to now track players by username. So they can just type any name they want and then just find the server and go grief it. They already have a database of thousands of IPs of thousands of Minecraft servers. It could be a server that you play on too. In Fed's recent video, he showed how the Copenhagen people found a server with the Jeb underscore player in it. And they just, you know, just logged in and did their thing. Just joined in grief server, killed Jeb, etc. But as you can see, Jeb logs out immediately. So what I think happened based on what happened to Axelot SMP, the server that I played on, is that the exploit cannot detect fabric servers running with the carpet mod. So the server that they grieved with the Jeb name was probably a bot from carpet mod AFKing in a wither farm. Those f got trolled! Those professional 2v2 hackers thought they were, that they were trolling someone, but instead they themselves got trolled. So how did this affect the server that I was playing on with their friends? So recently my friend Kira, who is the host of the server, he's hosting the server in his hardware, did a small change by adding the carpet mod and we could you know, spawn carpet mods with any nickname. Our server, Axelot Lesson B, was running an offline mode, which means that the server will not authenticate with the Mojang servers for checking usernames, which actually means you could have very easily spoof usernames. What we did was like using the carpet mod, we jokingly spawned in bots with the name of Technoblade and Jeb and then what they did is after he logged out they logged in as him you know the server has whitelist on so they cannot just you know spawn in as pop pop or something hey guys editor prop here so later after recording this video i found out from the logs that the person who was hacking us and found the ip was pillolo uh, this was his first login attempt before they turned off whitelist from my account. While I'm here, let me show you what they did. Uh, so they gave themselves creator mode and command blocks and then spawned in trillions of TNT and blew up everything. They actually logged in as me. They logged in as me. And the thing is my account slash player has OP on the server in the middle of the night while nobody even knew about it they started spawning tnt everywhere with commands and since they had the op perms from my account whitelist and any other protection we had didn't matter because op overpowers all of that they disabled the whitelist they deleted all the recent automatic backups from a plugin that we are using. They logged in using names like Pop Bob because our server was in offline mode, made some 2B2T two two references. Iris was trying to contact Kira the whole night. And in the middle of the night, Kira came online to see the destruction and immediately pulled the plug on the server, completely severing the con connection of the server to the internet. We are still evaluating our choices on what we should do next for our server. But you who have somehow watched the video so far, 
doesn't deserve this. So just make sure to take a ton of backups, full backups of all the data of your server and world. Uh, if you ever get grief, this is going to help you a lot. Uh, make sure to not have OP on a specific player on the server so they can't just log in as the OP person and then wreck the entire server. If you watch this video so far and find my channel interesting, please subscribe. If not, even a like on this video would be great help. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.